Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, we're gonna be covering how to use regular expressions within scripting on ServiceNow. Now, in case you guys missed the last video, we were actually using ChatGPT to create some different scripts on ServiceNow, and it was pretty cool. Um, we actually got them both on the first try, so that was neat. So what we're gonna be doing in this one is we're gonna be using ChatGPT again to create those regular expressions for us, and then we will be creating an on, well actually, let me head over to our catalog item, and we'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so we have these two fields, and on one of these fields, we'll do test field two. We'll be checking to see if the user is using any dashes or any white spaces, so any blank spaces. And if they are, it'll be an on change client script. And then um, once they, like say they go like this, test, test, and then they click away from the, screen, uh, the field and it registers that new value, then it should clear it out. So we'll clear out this field, we'll do a set, um, We'll do a set value to nothing. We'll just set it to an empty string. And then what we'll do is we'll also display an alert message telling them that they can't use any white spaces, so any spaces or any dashes. Okay, so let's give it a shot. So let's see, can you create me a regex that looks for dash or white space? Okay, and that actually gives you an example of when you would use that. So you would create, uh, well, we'll create our own. Actually, if you want, we could just probably create this because it's actually doing it in uh, ServiceNow format. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, let's just use it like this. Let's see if this works. So we don't have to even do it ourselves. And then uh, once we create it, we'll run through what it's doing. Okay, so we'll do on change YouTube test. All right, the on change for test field two. So right here. Regex, if regex dot test, test string, example string with spaces. Um, so we're gonna remove this because we don't need that. And we're gonna put new value here. Okay. All right, so let's run through what we're doing. Um, we're creating our variable, our regular expression. And within that, we are looking to see if there's any dashes or any white space. And then around here, uh, what we're doing with that variable is we're creating an if statement. And within that if statement, we're calling our variable up here. And then we're doing dot test. So we're testing our regular expression against our new value. And our new value is that first field that we saw, the test field two. And if it returns true, it says this string contains a hyphen or white spaces. And then if it doesn't contain it, the string does not contain a hyphen or white spaces. So let's give it a shot, see if it works. And we'll try it with both. We'll just put test here because that's not supposed to do anything. So we'll try just test by itself. So this string does not contain a hyphen or white space. So that's good. So let's see, test case. The string contains a hyphen or white space. Ooh, that's not good. Let's see if we can add the space. Test case. The string contains a hyphen or white space. All right, so that's pretty clear to the user, right? Um, instead of an alert, you also could have set up a field message. So let's jump it around, jump it around guys. Um, yeah, so that was an option for you. And yeah, that's great. It ended up working on the first try. So that's, uh, I guess, for three for three on chat GPT. I was actually gonna code it myself, but um, yeah, this is a uh, chat GPT did all the, all the heavy lifting for us. So I'm sure you can come up with much more complicated regular expressions and you could be looking for those patterns. So maybe it's like a, maybe you're inputting social security numbers. Um, hopefully you have those encrypted, <laughs> uh, but maybe you're plugging in social security numbers and you want it to be in a certain format, like uh, one, 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 something like that. Yep. So you could definitely look for that, exp um, that uh, pattern to make sure that they're following that pattern. And if not, you would enforce it. All right, everybody. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you on the next one very soon.